Inspired by the Shakespeare Lives campaign, the British Council Sudan designed an arts program called African Voices, using Shakespeare as a catalyst to address socio-political concerns of youth in the Horn of Africa using art as a development tool. So we brought together young artists from Ethiopia, South Sudan and Sudan to explore arts for development using Shakespeare as a main source of knowledge, learning and inspiration. I've been working for the British Council with the Change Collective and Lyrics Organics to deliver a programme called A Sonnet for Africa. Now, A Sonnet for Africa is really looking at Shakespeare's sonnets, well, four of Shakespeare's sonnets that I've chosen, and how they can be pulled apart and remoulded into 21st century pieces of poetry uh, which explore cultural identity. So really looking at the narrative structure of a sonnet, how it opens with an idea and presents an idea and then how it expands that idea and becomes more specific, the twist and then a resolution. Shakespeare inspired me uh, after this experiment. Now I became a new guy and I'm, I will do my best through writing to help the world, to help changing the world. If you come from the same place, you're able to give each other new things and new experiences and new knowledge. And when somebody comes from a different culture, for the sake of art, you're bound to create something that's, that has a certain flavor that neither of you could imagine. Even if you do something that you're used to, the influence of people from different cultures, it, it, it comes in and it helps you. Now that we've done the boot camp, and both Dan Boyden and Dan Sue have arrived. Uh, it's going to be more about the production now. So we have a workshop uh, for events management. We have radio interviews. We have enough marketing activities that we're doing. So I think it's the, the challenge is really going to be balancing all the different activities together. like a massive opportunity, not just to perform to these 800 people, but to showcase themselves, but also to show what is possible. Before the next time you decide to ask me who I am, you can hear my bullet shells. I'm being a ruin of this. Thinking that we have the right to follow other people's foolishness. With the list of 15, can it be one of you? It's a big way. the experience we've had thus far, we've been asked by the UK uh, British Council team to, to represent the Shakespeare Lives team in uh, the European Development Days in Brussels. And I think that having had this workshop, the performance that they're going to do is going to be even greater, more impactful, and they're going to they're going to have an amazing time. We've been really fortunate to be able to get six of them to come to Brussels uh, for two for these two days to perform at the EDDs, which is a huge uh, kind of international global conference around development, uh, to showcase some of the work they do, but also to talk about some of the incredible culture, uh, arts and culture work that's happening in terms of being able to put young people at the heart of the development agenda. So we're here from representatives from each 
country. Basically represent what we've been trying to do for the past couple of months, trying to summarize that and show the world what we are, like I said, getting voices heard through art and probably, hopefully, surely, evoke change. Right now I'm in Belgium, Brussels, attending the EDD conference uh, with a team from Ethiopia and Sudan. Uh, we're going to be performing our sonnets and we have a show. Um, and I'm looking really forward to it and I'm excited as everybody that's in it has been working really hard practicing our sonnets and writing sonnets and understanding the works of Shakespeare and like how we can interpret that, those poems and the ways of writing uh, into our own world, into an, our own reality and into our own cultures and being inspired by those poems and elevating ourselves to reaching higher heights. We've come to Brussels and it's been an amazing experience. For myself alone, I've had the opportunity to kind of be here to support um, a selection of the young people that were on that Sonnets programme. And it's been, yeah, a wonderful experience. It, it, it really feels like they've grown as artists and as people um, and as leaders. This is been a perfect opportunity for them to show that to the world because the thing about workshops is it's, it's often internal and the beautiful thing about what happened in Khartoum was that there was a performance at the end of it but then what happens after that on one level is the kind of legacy the digital platforms and the videos and so on and so forth but this is kind of like a real tangible legacy that's happening in a whole other continent with people who didn't know about the project who are aware of British Council's amazing work but weren't aware of how deep Shakespeare lives went or necessarily where it went and it's amazing to see how lots of people are engaging with that process and seeing that performance. Unlike most programs, um, the, the young artists that we brought together are actually not really artists by trade. The majority of them are young professionals, either um, engineers, uh, pharmaceutical uh, students, uh, doctors, and so forth. Um, many of them have had a bit of, of uh, engagement with some kind of art form, whether it be poetry or hip-hop or, or rap or, or so forth, but I don't think they've ever really organized themselves or seen themselves as an artistic collective or as, as artists, period. Um, the, the nature of what we're doing is not art for the sake of art, but it is art for social development. And I think that really, really quickly caught on with everybody. And, and today we see the doctors and the engineers using art for change and, and, and for social development. And to me, that is, that is uh, the aim of, of this project, is, is how can we use art and culture to end poverty, to end um, uh, unemployment, and, and to give young people a different perspective on, on how to address social issues in their communities. I, I'm always interested in people and the work that we did, very different people from very different backgrounds who didn't know each other before. We just mingled for five days and worked intensely and created something very beautiful and experienced so many, we exchanged feelings. And I can honestly say we ended up loving each other. I think it's just, it's like a drug. <laughs> it's a dose of love that is mixed with the arts and music and creativity. Such a thing, I don't think I've ever, I ever experienced such a thing before. One thing that I came to realize once again is that the arts come in many forms and different forms that you can just tell a story using only your sound. 
your movement, body languages, pictures, and it taught me not to limit myself, not to limit the possibilities and to aim as far as the sky.